Hello, my name is Lucas Piritoso and I'll be informing you all on the cell theory. To start this conversation, I'll start by mentioning the scientists that mainly contributed to the cell theory. To start, both Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann concluded that both plants and animals were composed of cells. And with that information being discovered, new cells are produced by existing cells through um, cell division by mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis in particular involves in the production of two identical diploid cells. And those diploid cells are body cells and body cells carry out functions throughout the body. And our cells perform mitosis for growth and development and skin repair for when, for example, we develop a skin rash after falling. Meiosis, in the contrary, uh, involves in the production of two unidentical haploid cells. And those haploid cells are gametes and gametes are involved in sexual reproduction. They're either sperm cells or egg cells. All living things are composed of cells. Cells are the basic unit and structure and function in living things. And new cells are produced from existing cells are the three statements that make up the cell. What I just said is head exploding, right? Well, wait until I tell you how this theory came about. In 1665, both Anton van Leeuwenhoek and Robert Hooke made major discoveries regarding the cell. Rob Anton van Leeuwenhoek used a single lens um, microscope to observe many uh, microorganisms in the pond water, some being unicellular and others being multicellular. Um, Robert Hooke cut a thin slice of cork and observed boxes in between, and he called those boxes cells. I'll now be introducing some organelles. Uh, the first organelle is the cell membrane, and the cell membrane directs what enters the cell and what exits it. And the cytoplasm is the gel that holds every organelle in place. The, the ribosome is where proteins are synthesized. The Golgi apparatus um, packages substances made. The endoplasmic reticulum serves to move materials from place to place. I'm now going to mention the organelles only found in plant cells. And one of them is the cell wall. It gives um, the plant its structure. And the chloroplast, uh, the chloroplast is the organelle um, that participates in photosynthesis. It captures the sun's energy in order to release oxygen. And um, also in prokaryotic cells, uh, their genetic material is found in the cytoplasm, while in eukaryotic cells, their um, genetic information is found in the nucleus, in chromosomes. And the centriole, which I didn't mention, is important in cell division, and they produce spindle fibers. Hope I see a three on my subscriber count.